Have you been reassured from what you've heard today uh, from NHS bosses about the future of the patient transport service? Sadly, not in any way whatsoever. What the NHS PTS service does not recognise, nor does its commissioners, that being rural, a very rural county, brings with it difficulties of access, of travel, of transport. Distances are vast between patients and the hospitals that they have to attend. And yet in the presentation today, and in the eligibility criteria, not once is mention made during the first stage of asking for a PTS service of how far do you live from the hospital? Are there any bus services? And it's only when you get to the appeal process and many patients under stress with a condition will not go that far, that suddenly those issues of reality are brought into play. It should be a basic, a basic item of eligibility that the question needs to be asked, how easy will you find to get to hospital by public transport? And that question does not appear in their, 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 their call centre call speak when patients ring up for transport. Indeed, they don't even know where they live until they get to the appeal process. And that very appeal process, how would you describe it? I would describe it as very, very off-putting for a patient who's just been refused a PTS when he desperately or she desperately needs it, many people will simply give up the ghost and give up their appointment. And there is evidence that that is now happening, that people say, well, if I can't get there, I won't go. Yeah, uh, did you uh, liken it to the Spanish Inquisition today? I'm afraid at times reports given to me is it is akin to the Spanish Inquisition. And when you get to the point where somebody in Hawes was told to take a train, even though the last train through the town came through in 1954, you realise that the Inquisition is being led by people who haven't the first clue about issues of reality. And that is a great disappointment because they don't see the great barriers to access that there are.